what up what up welcome back so I got the other side of the frame I got that cut I got it somewhat welded in uh, it's Monday the 14th so as you know how I talked about the bars going across I'm going out to Kelly Black GT's house to get some chromoly tubing uh, so I could use that for I'm going to use that for my sliders. I'll show you what idea I've come up with now. And obviously for the anti-roll bar. So I'm on my way out there to get some chrome molly tubing. And we'll go back to the house. And I'll finish burning in these inner frame rails. And probably going to make some templates. And I'm going to plate the side closest to the tire with like 14 gauge just to help strengthen it a little bit because obviously we welded that eighth inch stuff to the thin frame metal. Um, so I'll plate that outside and slow process. I got some stuff ordered for the rear end, um, the housing ends. Uh, I need to get the Team Z brace kit ordered up. That way we can uh, figure out what the length's gonna be on the rear end and then get it out here to Kelly. Those guys are all leaving for Texas, uh, I think next week, for a race. So, probably won't get the rent stuff here and be able to get it to him until he gets back from that race. But, nonetheless, that's what's going to go down, excuse me, in this video plus anything else. Uh, I got some ideas on how I'm going to mount the sliders now. Probably going to interfere with the gas tank somewhat or quite a bit but I think this will be the strongest and when we get back to the house or if I haven't already talked about it I'll show you why I think this will be stronger um, Tony sent me a video of his friend Brian Greenberg's car to, to show the function of the slider I saw that video I changed my mind on how I wanted to mount stuff to the to that little frame that's a you know thin little frame so um, in the video you'll see just how much force uh, that spring has when it's coming down the slider so I'm gonna change change up what I was gonna do with those brackets from uh, Funkhauser and uh, do something a little bit different so catch up at the end of a minute sides they're like tacked but they're not burned in got our tubing from Kelly from Ollie nice stuff so put you on time lapse while I burn this stuff in
right, after 75 pounds of welding wire and working over my head so I can't move my arms, uh, we have everything for this little section welded completely in. Now I need to come in here with the grinder and make it look good, like with a flat disc. But all the way she's in, welded on the top, welded on the back side, this side's in too. And I gotta come in here with a grinder and make it look pretty. You can still see a little bit of spots in there, but I ground down as much as I could. Put a little coat of steel it on both of these. Just to, I don't know, make it look a little bit better, but that's done. Kind of got a late start today. Uh, I, I gotta go in and get ready for work. So I got a late start, but I want to at least get out here and finish getting all those ground down and nice. Tomorrow I'm gonna come out here and do some more. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is draw out the, the inner plates that I'm gonna do. And when I say that, I mean here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plate this here, um, just to give it a little more strength. I mean, it's, it's pretty solid now. And it's pretty stout, but what I'm going to do is plate here, and I'll cut this out. And I'm going to leave this up about a half an inch or so. That way when I go to put the wheel tub or the wheelhouse back in, I can pull that tub up and let it hit, you know, let it make contact. And then I can burn, still burn a weld on the inside in the car here. But it'll give something to put that wheelhouse to. And then I got an idea of what I'm going to do back here. Um... I'm gonna lose a, a lot of the gas tank stuff and the gas tank's gonna have to be modified, but let me show you. I'm going to run this bar across like that. And I'll make brackets that will weld to this. Obviously this bar will weld into the car. I'll make brackets and the leaves will catch here. The sliders will catch here. Now, that gas tank I wanted is supposed to sit in the stock location. Um, so I'll probably, I may still get that gas tank. I don't know if I said gas station or gas tank, that gas tank. And probably what I'll do is I'm gonna have to do one of these. I'm gonna have to cut it and then the tank will have to come in, you know, like this and go into the car. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna lose a little bit, but we'll make up for it. I'll modify that sucker so it fits in here. I'm trying to really keep 22 gallons or as close to that as I can being this bitch is gonna be E85 and gonna drink fuel, especially pulling that trailer. I was looking at some old videos trying to improve my content. That trailer was 760 with nothing in it. And I'm sure me and Tim had a thousand pounds worth of shit in it. Transmission, oil, oil filters, uh, water pumps, alternators, starters, plugs i mean coolant extra belts you name it we had it in there so i'm sure it'll be the same thing with this deal and while i'm back here i may even bang the uh hitch out um just catch the bolts where the bumper goes in and make a bracket so i may do that when i'm back here too but tomorrow i'll catch back up with you guys All right, y'all, it's the next day. Had to run to Harbor Freight real quick. As you can see, had to get some flapper wheels and some cutoff discs so I can uh, get the stuff cut off the rear end. I'm gonna try to do that and get that in this video. I need to run, I'm gonna run the wheel houses that I cut off and the rear end to the uh, powder coat dude and have him sandblast that all. <coughs> Excuse me, so that's clean to work with. 
uh, lower the car down where the wheels are in the tub. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. I know you've seen the picture a thousand times on social media or whatever, but uh, that's pretty good fitment. This is the front area that I was talking about that's close. So I'm, I may have to cut, put some cuts in this and bend that over so that that tire is not gonna hit. Um, but I've got a little bit of room here now. This is better. And I'm not sure if this is exactly where this wheel is going to be in the hole. Same over here. But you can see, even taking all that frame out, um, ain't got much room in there. Uh, but now I'm going to work on this. Like I showed you guys, I'm going to make some brackets for this deal. And the leaf springs will come back to that. So times, I'm gonna time lapse you. Um, those brackets from Funkhauser are nice, but I just couldn't make those happen. So um, the bracket's just too far off the frame, and uh, I don't think that would have been an ideal situation there. So I'm gonna get get cranking on these and catch up with you in a minute. I got all these cut and tacked together. I'm gonna make one template. I'm gonna drill all the holes and do all that while these are all stacked together. Then I'll bust them apart so that they're all the same. All right, I got my stuff laid out. So here will be, I gotta go measure my tube that I got, but I believe one, one inch holes here and here, and then inch and a quarter here. So the bar will go through. And then these two one inch holes will be gusted so that it stays stout. And then obviously I'm going to lose these corners, but we're going to get the whole saw chalked up in the drill press and start drilling. What a long process. That freaking seven eighths, the littler hole saw of the two. Freaking wobbly Chinese made piece of shit, you know? So I don't know when I put the smaller tube in here, if I'm gonna be able to TIG it. That one might have to be MIGGED, but let me show you the fitment on the inch and a quarter. So this one is really good. Um, it goes in there nice. It's got good clearance. And this man. Look at that. That one might need to be tigged. That's all right. It's no big deal. I can I can make that one in. Uh, so now I think I'm gonna take these dang things apart and trim the corners off. May try to tackle it when they're welded together on the uh, on the bandsaw, but the thing does really good with like thinner material. It doesn't do really good with thick material. I may try it and we'll see. And then uh, I can start tacking these things together. I gotta go in in about an hour, but uh, maybe I can get one tacked up. So we'll see.
All right. We're all cut down and all that. So I got to bust all these welds loose. And then actually got to get some holes in these too. But this deal will be like that. And then the slider will bolt underneath it. All right, you guys, I got everything cut out and I've got to start welding stuff, but I don't have time today. I got to go to work. But let me show you what the setup's going to be here. So here's the setup. That bar that I put in the back will go through through these and then when these are all welded up, that's what's gonna hold this deal. Now, I gotta get, I'm gonna tack or weld all these so that I don't have to dick with any of that once it's in the car. So I still got a bunch of welding to do. I got a bunch of cleaning to do. I barely got this material wet and it's already rusting up. So I'm gonna clean that stuff up before I go inside and then I'll pick up tomorrow when I get out here, try to get out here a little earlier and I'm gonna get all these things probably just tacked up and then we'll mock it up in the car, get everything marked and then I can burn it in uh, for final, I guess. And then, um, yeah, it is what it is. So we will return tomorrow. All right, y'all, it is the next day. So I've got all the stuff for these little brackets cleaned up and I'm gonna start tacking it all together. Obviously, uh, probably a time lapse. I'll get these tacked together and then we'll uh, put them in the car, mock it up, see how it looks. And then I'll probably turn to going outside, chop all the stuff off the rear end and then that'll probably do it for this video. And then the next video um, I'll show maybe welding that bar in the back of the car dropping stuff off at powder coat but uh that'll probably do it so let's get going taking forever but I got both of these things completely welded out so I don't have to worry about coming back and doing it tomorrow um, I'm gonna let them cool and then I'm gonna try them in the car because that one hole saw was kind of cutting weird um, some of my little gussets I tried to take two of the worst brackets from it wobbling and put like one worst bracket one clean bracket on either side of this uh, of both of these spring these whatever you want to call them brackets and um so that made the when the thing goes through it's not exactly centered but that's all right it's just holding springs and i probably should have cut with something different like that rota brooch company maybe that'll maybe that's i mean i don't know i'm trying not to get too much fabrication stuff because i don't plan on building a bunch of cars just this one um so Maybe in the future I need to use something different than the whole saw that I used, but I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna get the car up, get the leaf springs hung while these are cooling, and then I'll come back when um, we're pushing them up in there and I'll show you what I got real quick here. And then I uh, probably ain't gonna have time in this video to get the rear end, the pieces cut off the rear end, but I'll save that for the next video and taking that stuff out to the, to the powder coater. Um, so let me show you what the product looks like here. So this deal is fully welded out. Um, it is hot on fire right now. I'm getting better with the TIG stuff. I was having a lot of problems and I kept blowing up mad at speed kinetics. Like, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Or asking Kelly, you know, what tungsten should I be using? And the whole time, even with my door shut, there's a breeze that comes through here right by my welding table. I think it comes from the roll up door and basically what was happening is it's blowing the shielding gas away. So I cranked the shielding gas up and zero problems. Burned right through all this stuff clean. 
um, no issues at all. So I'm gonna run this bottle out that I have and then I'm gonna step it up to a bigger one. The guy over there at the welding place said, hit me up and I'll hook you up on a bigger bottle, which is what I need to finish this thing out anyway. So I'll get back with you when the springs are up in here. All right, you guys, I didn't wanna film putting all this in there because I'm on a time crunch. But here's where we're at now. So those are the brackets I made, bolted to the slider. I'll have to make sure that I've got this straight from the front box back, obviously before anything gets welded. Um, but now all three of my points are in exactly the same spot. That point, this is supposed to be the factory pin drilled here and then obviously the front box. That way I'm not guessing. Um, came out really good and then obviously, you know, I'll weld it to this bar. Now, I've seen some stuff online. For some reason, I always get ads for um, TMR Customs. I think because I bought some steel paint from them when it was Black Friday. And I'll see if I can put a picture of what I'm talking about. But they basically have this uh, tube thing that you put inside of a tube and it's got like three bolts and a little chingus. And I thought about using that here to be able to take the leaf springs out sorry to be able to take the leaf springs out with that and then jack the car up let the rear end kind of you know take the anti-roll bar off let the rear end come down and i can change the tires out then we can jack the the uh the back back, back bar back up or something i don't know um either that or Shoot me, maybe rolling track to track on freaking drag radials, which is sketchy, 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 sketchy in the rain and towing a trailer. So I don't know. I guess we'll get the car together and I don't know. I just, I really don't know. All, none of this stuff is like, um, I've never done it before. So, but I'm thinking the easiest way to get the rear end out is to let the le the rear stuff back here drop down and then do what you got to do. So that'll do it for this video, you guys. Um, hopefully on the next video, I'll have the anti-roll bar. I will have the rear end, we'll cut the stuff off the rear end, take it to the powder coater and get that process going. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll check you on the next one. Mm -hmm.